what I should say was here. Now, Nicholas Soho, who's best known for directing comedies like Neighbors and most recent Bros, is now looking to do a uh, new Limit series. According to um, Deadline, Sony Pictures Television is putting the Limit series jackpot into early development, inspired by the hard scrapbook life of Philly high stakes gambler turned FBI confidential source RJ Caprini, aka Robin Hood um, 702. Um, who was uh, the linchpin um, in taking down a multi-million dollar drug um, ring. A gambler known for, uh, for his um, for his giving for giving his winnings to the less fortunate, Caparane's um, chance encounter with an ex-girlfriend pledged him um, unwittingly into a money laundering scheme that ultimately led to one of the biggest cases in FBI history. Leading to cover 100,000 uh, on 1,000 um, arrests around the world, known to the FBI as Jackpot. The series, um, the series follows the gambler as he navigates an insane web of characters who may just kill um, him and his family unless he can uh, bring them down first. The series is built as being part um, Don Brasco and part Ocean's Eleven. Caprini um, was a key domino in the FBI's takedown of former USC football player turned drug um, lord Owen Henson's violent empire, which spanned the um, US, Central, and South um, America and Australia. Henson began dealing on um, recreational um, drugs and um, steroids to teammates in college during the early 2000s, um, which morphed into a global network. Caprani was tasked by Henson to gamble 2.5 million through the drug lord's um, laundering scheme. Uh, the gambler lost all the money on purpose playing um, blackjack, sparring Henson to make uh, death dress, including sending Caprani's uh, photos of his wow of his de- deceased mother's defaced headstone photos of his wife, along with her personal information and a video showing beheadings. Wow. Hansen was arrested in September um, 2015 and sentenced to, um, in late 2017, to more than 21 years in federal prison. The drug lord was ordered to pay a $5 million criminal uh, photosher, um, which included uh, 100K in gold coins, luxury vehicles, jewelry, vacation homes, a sailboat, and interests in several businesses. Uh, this actually sounds really cool. A device used to take down Hansen with uh, Phantom Secure mobile phones, which was designed to and sold to criminals around the world. Hansen brought several of these phones and mistakenly gave one of an FBI un- undercover agent, which exploded on the case into thousands of criminals being monitored in multiple jurisdictions um, around the globe by the FBI inside and outside the drug lord's case. The use of the Anom uh, phone uh, resulted in the arrest of 800 criminals in one um, day in a sting operation by the FBI Glo- uh, Global Law Enforcement Agencies. Later, um, on the um, later on, the FBI had a um, great idea of putting out uh, their own encrypted uh, phone encoded Anom. Wow, this I gotta say sounds really cool. Now, this doesn't really say who's gonna be starting this or anything like that, but Nicholas Sola, I mean, him doing something like this, interesting right there. Uh, he's also best known for directing for Gangster Marshall, uh, Gambling to the Greeks, Storks, and he has worked on shows such as like uh, Grinder, The Call Michael Show. So he has had uh, TV experience there too. So this sounds like it could be really cool. To check out who they're gonna get to play the stars is. Literally beyond me, like who they're gonna get to play the role of um, RJ Caprini, who they get to play the drug kingpins. Who knows? Doesn't really say where this is gonna end up on. It, I'm pretty positive it's gonna end up on a streaming platform, maybe HBO, Netflix. Who knows? But let me let you guys. What are your thoughts on Nicholas Siller on um, working on this limited series called Jackpot? Do you know much about the true stories it's based on? Are you do you like the sound of it? Uh, drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notification. This is Samuel Sayo.